In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to report a server in Discord. Discord, a platform loved for its seamless integration of voice, video and text chat, is home to millions of communities around the world. However, there might come a time when you encounter a server that violates Discord's terms of service or community guidelines, necessitating a report to ensure the safety and integrity of the community. Whether it's harassment, illegal activities or other forms of misconduct, Discord provides a way for users to report these issues. Let's walk through the process together. First things first, we need to access Discord. Open your web browser of choice and head over to Discord's official website. Once there, you'll be prompted to uh, log in if you haven't already. This step is crucial because you need to be logged into your account to report a server. Now to log in, you'll need to enter your registered email address. Make sure to type this in carefully to avoid any errors that could prevent you from logging in. After you've entered your email, the next step requires you to input your password. Our passwords are case sensitive, so be mindful of any capital letters, numbers, or special characters that are part of your password. This is a good moment to double check that your caps lock isn't unintentionally on, as this could lead to unnecessary login failures. With your email and password correctly entered, it's time to click on the login button. A successful login will redirect you to the Discord home screen, which serves as the starting point for our next steps. From the home screen, navigate to the Discord home area by selecting the appropriate option. This area is your gateway to all the different servers you're a part of, as well as direct messages. Our next action involves selecting the server you wish to report. Browse through your server list and click on the server in question. Remember, you're doing this to ensure that Discord remains a safe and welcoming environment for everyone. So be certain that the issue you're reporting truly violates Discord policies. Once inside the server, look for an option to copy the server's ID. This is typically found in the server settings and might require you to enable developer mode in your Discord settings if you haven't done so already. Copying the server ID is a critical step because it uniquely identifies the server within Discord's vast ecosystem making it easier for the support team to locate and review your report. With the server ID copied, your next destination is the web. Open a new tab or window in your browser and search for the Discord support page where you can submit a request. This page is specially designed to help you communicate your concerns to the Discord moderation and support team. Upon reaching the support page, look for the option marked help and support. Clicking on this will direct you to another page where you can begin the process of lodging your report, here you will encounter multiple fields where you can add details about the issue you're reporting. Be as thorough and precise as possible, describe the nature of the violation, include the server ID you copied earlier, and any additional evidence that supports your claim, screenshots, messages, etc. Once you've filled out all the necessary information, take a moment to review it. It's important that your report is clear and contains all the relevant details to help the Discord team understand and act on the issue effectively. Finally, with your report ready to go, click on the Submit button. This sends your report off to Discord's support team for review. You've done your part in maintaining the safety and integrity of Discord's community. Reporting a server in Discord might seem like a daunting task at first, but it's a straightforward process that plays a crucial role in fostering a safe and enjoyable environment for all users. Remember to use this feature responsibly and only for situations that genuinely warrant it. By following these steps, you're not only protecting yourself, but also contributing to the well-being of the entire Discord community. Thank you for taking the time to ensure Discord remains a welcoming place for everyone. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tutorials. Stay safe and see you in the next video.